Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, there was a visual this past weekend for the victims that were that were sent to the Shadow Realm by this murderer by the name of Ryan Paul Meter. Ryan Paul Meter. And here you have the reason why your Ryan Paul Meters were even motivated to killing innocent black people. I'm talking about the man on the very far left. Uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, or should I say Ron to Satan? Or Ron to Satanic? I know Tory Rain came up with the name Ron to Satan. Shout out to him. Um, but anyway, Ron to Santas or Ron to Satan is the re is one of the few reasons why this that killer Ryan Palmeter was emboldened to kill innocent black people. The blood is on his hands because this happened in Jacksonville, Florida. This is the same Ron DeSantis who's going around saying that the woke will the woke. Florida is where the woke come to die, or this woke stuff. We 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 have to. He's trying to get rid of black people's history. When they when when Ron DeSantis says woke, he really means black people. He wants to destroy our history, and he basically wants us to be murdered as well, because he did say the woke come to die. This his rhetoric against black people is the reason why we've seen these emboldened attacks um, by racists like Ryan Paul Meter. All right, they were influenced by other racist people like your Ron DeSantis. That's the man on the left, the governor. And I was happy when I saw that the residents of Jacksonville, Florida. Mimetically, the black residents, when he came to that visual, he had no peace. That's why he didn't come with, a, uh, he didn't have any kind of peace. Because people heckled him and booed him, and rightfully so. They know that he was there for a photo op, but the black community was not going to let him stay there comfortably. They booed him. Hopefully to boo him off and basically because black people are sick and tired of these killings on the black community. We're sick and tired of being the so-called peaceful people. Uh, now we want action. We want an anti-hate crime bill that protects black people. But anyway, let's go back to the part about Ron DeSantis getting heckled and booed. Rightfully so. Ron DeSantis, blood, there's blood on Ron DeSantis, um, hands. And I have no sympathy for Ron to Satan. Because he is, like I said, his rhetoric is the reason why, is one of the few reasons why we have these white supremacists killing innocent black people. Yet, unfortunately, let's talk about the woman in the blue pantsuit on the far right, sitting in this fold in the chair. Um, so, her name is Jacoby Payton. This is from Twitter. And the reason why this, shout out to this father, the reason why she's saying fish fried Seal, sister, forgive me if I pronounce it, saying you miss The reason why people are now saying that when her election is up, that they need to vote her out, is because he, she came to the rescue of the bigot himself, Ron DeSantis, saying, uh, 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 a bullet does it, it, no, a party, uh, he comes to bring gifts and stuff. Let, let him bring it. Yeah, that kind of stupid behavior um, from this this mammy, uh, Jacoby. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 
Jacoby Pittman. Yeah, this this lady is a sambo. Is or is, she's probably auditioning to try to get into higher uh, political power p- power other than just being a city councilman. And she believes the only way to do that is to stop try to stop black people for calling out and booing and making these white supremacists. Um, she basically wanted to make Ron DeSantis more comfortable being around black folk, but we was like, no, we're booing him, and uh, we basically tell Jacoby Pittman to shut up, because she going around buck dancing to try to defend Ron DeSantis. I'm talking about this woman right here on the right. And she got clowned too. She's getting called out and clowned too. Rightfully so for trying to defend Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis deserves every boo and heckle out there. Alright? He deserves to be booed and stuff like that. Um, because he's the reason why three innocent black people lost their lives and more black people are suffering. And especially in Florida. People are the NWACP has put in a travel advisory to stay away from Florida. That should tell you something. But I have no sympathy for Ron Santos when he was being booed. He deserved to be booed. He's going around there creating harmful policies against black people. It's time... And it's time for people like Ron DeSantis to go. He is causing all sorts of trouble. But that's all I have to say about the situation. And also shame on on um, Jacoby Pittman for trying to throw the cape for Ron DeSantis. No, Ron DeSantis does not need to be saved by someone within the black community. He's the reason why his actions, his rhetoric is the reason why we have these white supremacists out here hurting black people. But that's all I have to say about the situation. Uh, Ron DeSantis, if he's up for re-election, then he does not need to be elected anymore. Ron DeSantis is just a coward. And he deserved to be booed because blood is on his hands. He's one of the few reasons why you had that killer at that Dollar General store killing black people. But I want to know what y'all think about in the comment section about what's going on with this situation. Write down in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification. But that's all I have to say. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.